Welcome back everybody. If you haven't already, please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. The bell icon helps you out because it gives you notification every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it. This is the picture that we're going to be looking at today and what we're going to do is we are going to remove this lead. So today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be doing a request. The custom request came from our Facebook group, if you are not a member then do so. And the picture that we're going to be working on today is this one for Katerina. Katerina has got in touch basically, she was struggling with how on earth to remove this lead. So she sent me over the raw files and if we open up Photoshop in camera raw, we have got that particular file as it came out of the camera. And the general tip really to avoid having to do anything like like this level of editing is to either hold the lead at a 45 degree angle so you're off of the dog's body uh, directly above the dog if you're able to stand close enough or to have the lead coming over the other side and then it's pretty straightforward because you're just matching background and blending that through instead of actually recreating parts of the dog. This dog is just so freaking cute. So what we want to do is open up that image. So I'm gonna click open and it's gonna go ping up into Photoshop. Let's make that more full screen. Hoping you guys can see this okay. If you're watching on a device that can, please do switch to 4K. If you've watched this in 4K quality, everything will be so much clearer. So the situation that we've got is to remove this lead. Now, how I would do something like this, because we've got a lot of different situations going on. So really it's trial and error, and I'm gonna just duplicate the background layer so that we've got that safe and sound for us. The first thing that I would probably go ahead and do is use the spot healing brush to get us a rough uh, chunk out over here on this side. So literally really rough just go like that. Now, obviously that looks atrocious. Don't worry guys. I'm gonna grab my patch tool, just circle up and over that section uh, and drag some background space into that. I'm gonna just uh, pull another little bit. Don't really want all of that going on. But I do want some more green. Now, if we can't get green, I'm gonna to switch to my rectangular marquee tool which will grab this particular area and then I am gonna get my hue and saturation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find within this square the, uh, the blues essentially so that we've clicked and we've got cyans and it's the cyans that I just wanna take back a little bit so I'm dropping my saturation and then I'm gonna move them into green. There's me trying to work out where on earth green is. <laughs> they should know this a bit better by now. So that has just knocked out the edge of the green. We can also uh, darken those particular cyan areas and potentially even knock them down further. I don't really wanna knock them too far out. I'm quite happy with that. And then click to unselect. Now we've got a base kind of thing going on over there. It's not perfect, that's okay. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of that area We've got some green treetops over here that are a similar focal plane away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop them through. I mean, that's, that's pretty damn solid. So then I'm gonna grab my clone tool, make it bigger. We wanna be on, you know, reasonably high opacity. 80's fine, you know, and, and just grab sort of a middle area. It doesn't wanna have too much going on in it. And your aim for this really is just to blend off. So don't go mad. Don't need to go crazy here, guys. Just keep it. So I've just pressed three to drop my opacity to 30. And I'm just gonna take off some of the darker areas. And what that has done is essentially replaced our tree area with, with some new trees. Okay, don't worry about that too much because we'll, we'll, we can blend further. The next stage is this. Now, we've got a very high contrast area, so absolutely 100% what I would do is either use a clone tool or rectangular marquee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a clone tool for now. I'm gonna grab some bum hairs because that's what they are. And as I layer over here on the same angle, what you can see is that essentially, really we need to rotate. So I'm gonna bend that off, grab a rectangular marquee, 
grab this area, I'm going to press Command C or Control C if you're on a Windows and then Command V again. Whenever I say Command, just think Control if you're on a Windows. I'm going to change it so we've basically copied that section. I'm going to kind of try to line it up. What you can do is also drop the opacity on this to see. Actually, that's pretty damn, pretty damn solid there. So I'm going to OK that in, drop that back to 100. I'm going to put a mask on. Press B on my keyboard to get the brush and then commence brushing. So you want to go in at 100% on all of the edges, like so. And then if you need to, you can then touch up a little bit further. So I'm going to just find that edge and go a little bit closer there because I don't really want to be cloning the trees that close to the behind of the dog. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to merge that down. So that is, you know, actually part of the layer and then on our patch tool we're going to do a nice big ring around there and pull from a similar distance something that's not got too much going on that's a bit green in comparison and let me zoom out so this is where we're at now do you see the difference the next thing is this back section so realistically what I probably would do is go ahead and use a clone tool to get the bigger chunks. So if you see, look into the background, so you can see, let me just get that. So over here, we've got dark, dark, and then lighter, 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 and then light, light, right? So what you can do is make sure that you're cloning at 100% at first, because you do need to knock out everything in the background there. You wanna be cloning from the color areas, does that make sense? So that is a brown area. That is not a brown area, that is a light area, but it moves into the darker area. So then we pull a middle tone. You wanna be careful of the line, so there's a line there, so just, just watch that line. Um, because you don't, you don't wanna change the conformation of the dog. I've got a darker ridge that goes up the behind which is absolutely normal. And then we've got that light section. So we've got that light section again. I'm gonna put that there. And then you wanna drop your opacity a little bit and just start to blend in together. I mean, anybody who wears makeup, this is kind of just blending, do you see? So then the next section, we would just do the exact same thing. I would, however, because of confirmation of the dog, I would start to bring in the lighter hair a little bit because that is a triangle, not a rectangle. Um, and then we have lost some uh, texture because of our cloning at lower opacity. So what you can do, I'm on the wrong tool, patch tool, just sort of grab that whole area, go down to a textured area, drop that in. This is a bit too much texture to be fair. Calm yourself. Remember to stay in your colors. It's really important. So there is just now this line and that line is actually a very similar color to this over here. And now there's just this top section. So now we've got a accurate behind of the little puppy here. So then we go on to the next section. Now you could go ahead and use your uh, patch tool like so um, but just obviously be careful that we've got a collar there so it might make it slightly more difficult but that's pulled really well I'm happy with that again look where your eye goes what's not right what doesn't fit and for me it was that section there so as we're getting a little bit closer to the the difficult section here we need to start thinking ahead, what does this section consist of? How are we best placed to remove that? What would the source be? Because the source is so important. Do you see how I followed that line in the dog's coat? Natural lines, you wanna keep everything as natural as possible. If you're not already up to speed, you know, on things like dog confirmation, it's really worth looking into it because if you don't know how a dog is structured, it's very, very difficult to then go forward and actually apply it. So this is where things are gonna get tricky. So let's try some different options here. So we've got fluff from the neck and the back. And this section, we've got fluff from the neck and the sky. 
So if we drop that there, that is not a bad shout, good shout. I'm, pre I'm actually pretty happy with that. It's gone a bit too bright. So I'm gonna go to a darker area. And we've just got this flary section. Do you see how that's like a really bright color? So I'm just gonna grab that, pull it to a darker area. I'm okay with not having the hair there. I need to pull some darker sections up there. And what I will also do is go ahead with my burn tool. I'm gonna try it on mid-tones. See if that gets me where, where I wanna go here. I probably wanna be on uh, shadows. Be very careful using shadows. Okay, zooming out, zooming out. So we've just got this bright section here. What I do wanna do is try and introduce some more of that neck fluff because we've got fluff here and that's important. So this dog has got white, black, and then this rich amber. But up here, he's got white, amber, and then the back color. So that gives us a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna grab my patch tool again, and grab onto that. Go up to our bit where we've got the detail. Make sure you get the edge of the hairs in that, and drop that down. Don't worry about that bit for now. We need to make that match. So I'm gonna probably pull from there. You don't count. <laughs> you don't count. That's a bit mean. I'm gonna leave the tags because the dog does have a harness on. So that makes sense. If the dog did not have a harness on and no obvious collar, you would go ahead and remove that. You would not leave that in. Okay, so then the final thing is to just clean up these lines. So we go on the clone tool. So I just wanna add more tufts here. The tuftiness is gonna be our downfall. I should do this in smaller sections, but I'm not going to on that tuftiness. Like so. And then our middle gap there. They don't fit. Go with something simple. That's good. Okay, right. Tidy up time. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a children's TV show, which is not, not what we're doing here. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. It's pretty damn good, pretty damn good. I'm gonna do some cloning to fill in some gaps because gaps are bad. Pull some hair for 80. Make sure you're lining up. So like there's a light hair at the bottom of that, can you see? Um, and we wanna line it up with the white hair so you wouldn't put that like there because it wouldn't make sense. You know? Um, and then I'm just gonna cover that over, soften it off a bit. Break it up a bit. Okay, okay. So, where are we? Before, now, before, now. We've gone up a little bit too high on the dogs. This is like dark dark here. We've like removed that dark. That's fine. That's not a problem. All is fine. So what we can do is just grab that and run it there. Like so. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, what what more can we what more can we do here? Before and now, before and now. Like some of it's like a little dark. So we can just go in with our dodge and bring that up so that it's less drawing for the eye. It's good. We've got some little differences in the hairs. Differences are good though, guys. All we need to be doing on this picture really is just finding that middle ground. Like we just need to make it work. We don't need to make it perfect because like no dog's coat is perfect so you don't want to be going too far into these things and then ending up in a situation where what you've done just really doesn't look realistic
So yeah, let me let me zoom let me zoom fit screen. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Um, our trees are fine. If you look at this, so we're like, oh, this is a cute picture of a dog. N nothing over here draws your eye in a difficult way. We could go um, and burn some shadows in just for uh, effect there. Uh, but again, not not really needed we could drop some shadows into the coat for some differentiation there if we wanted to. Uh, and again, on the back, we could do the same. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and just run some shadow through there as well. And I mean, yeah, that's kind of it, guys. Such a cute dog, such a cute dog. Um, so yeah, so that is how you would remove a lead from a complex scene. So use all of your tools, take your time, and make sure that it is right. If you have any questions on this, please do drop them into the comments box below. I appreciate audience participation, no matter what you have to say, although please make it nice because we just like nice people. If you can, please do subscribe. Uh, subscribe to this channel, that helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon.